Have you guys ever changed transmission fluid in your car? Well, today that's what I'm doing. I'm not sure how many miles my car has had since a transmission fluid change. However, um, it's about time because I can fill it in the transmission and so we're gonna change it today. All right, so getting into it, I have all my tools here. I'm gonna get up underneath and check it out. I already have the car scotched up. Here's the sort of the, the drain plug, I guess is what it would be called for the Dodge Dart. So first off, we're gonna try it with a pair of pliers, just an adjustable pair of pliers. That's not really working. I just need to loosen up that sort of plug that drains it. It's really, I guess, a bolt in there, and you just have to loosen it up. And there I've got it loosened, but I didn't get it loosened with the pliers. It's actually suggested that you use a, a wrench. Um, I believe the size is a 23 millimeter wrench, and I used close to that. It didn't take much to loosen it with a wrench and a socket though. However, it's important to watch because there is a washer in with it and that will very easily fall out. So just watch for that. Make sure you catch it. Here it is draining from the top view. This is from under the hood. There's a whole other process we'll get into for putting your transmission fluid in. Right now, this is the bolt and it's a little dirty, so I'm gonna clean it off. Now that that's done draining, I can go ahead, put the bolt back in, make sure it's in just snug. And as you can see, I have a pipe already ready to go to put my transmission fluid back in, the new transmission fluid. You have to take off sort of a cover with a 3 8 here it is, adjustable wrench and once you take it off, you can then put the plug in. It's just a hose that I've found and I just actually cut a piece <laughs> of it off. So if you have simple stuff laying around, some tools, a hose, a little drain jug that you can put the old transmission fluid in, you're good to go. It, however, it is a tedious process. I'm trying to fit this in. I actually ended up cutting the hose down because it was sort of double layered. So I cut the first layer off to be able to fit it in. And that was a tough process, honestly. Half the time it took me to do it, I was just trying to fit that thing in and cutting it down. <laughs> All right, so I got the funnel, but it's a little stopped up. So I'm gonna take it to the spigot. Something is over the screen, or over the camera, rather. All right, so I'm just pouring this. It's draining. Slowly but surely, this is a very tedious process. Let's go in there. Down in there. It looks like I'm cool now. I think I see something on the ground. Okay. Just about done. Yeah, I got it a little full. Maybe I'll. Let that drain for a minute. Just for a minute. When it looks like it's gonna let up, I'm gonna put the, I've got it ready, the little cap back in. So this tank for it is actually smaller than what I thought. I have four quarts and it only, seems like it held about maybe three. So. 
Go. I believe. Yeah. All right. So that is how you change your transmission fluid in your car. Um, I haven't changed the filter out. That is actually, believe it or not, a more tedious project. You actually, for a Dodge Dart, it may be different for other cars, but for a Dart, you have to take your transmission completely out. And then it's sort of under a cover. And after you take your transmission apart, you can then change it out. So it's not to, meant to be for like the average man for a serviceable, I guess it's not serviceable um, is what they would say. So either way, I got that done. It's very interesting because that's only the second thing I've ever done to this vehicle. Um, the first was I changed the upper radiator hose and that marks the second like mechanic work I've done to vehicles. So it's pretty neat. You don't have to, you know, be a mechanic um, to do mechanic things is what I'm saying. Uh, I just watch YouTube videos and figure it out. There are more informational YouTube videos. I could put them in the description down below that will help you. And for the most part, I believe every car is pretty similar. So you could watch those. Um, and I'm sure there's like a standard car or a most used car most people have so. anyway thanks for watching um please like share subscribe and i hope you have a great day